Salam Ekspor. Ya, kita baru aja landing di Sydney. Hari ini uh, saya baru aja ada di depan uh, Two Tower International di Barangaroo Avenue di Sydney. Di sini ada salah satu uh, kantor dari rekan paling strategis kita yaitu Privy.id yang merupakan platform tanda tangan digital uh, pertama di Indonesia. Nah, Uh, simak kita akan naik ke atas kita akan berbicara sama uh, perwakilan dari kantor cabang Privy di Sydney keren kan di Sydney Privy sudah buka cabang oke okay, uh, ikuti terus aktivitas kita hari ini dengan ekspor ekspor Indonesia so my name is Rob Hotchin uh, I'm the country manager for Privy Australia Um, I've been with the company for around about eight or nine months now. Uh, so Privy in Australia. So Australia is in an interesting position when it comes to digital identity. Um, the, the Senate recognised that Australia needs to improve its digital identity. There was a, um, a bill passed two weeks ago. It had royal assent. So there's new laws and legislations coming in to make digital identity in Australia better. So where Privy is, is really valuable here is a lot of what Australia is looking to try and achieve, Privy and Indonesia have already done that. So we can take a lot of those lessons that we did in Indonesia with Privy and bring them to Australia to try and improve the security of digital as a whole in, in Australia. Yeah, so I think I'd elevate above digital signature and, and talk about digital trust uh, and those different elements of digital trust for us. Digital trust and digital identity is about how do you transact with confidence and security, um, knowing that what you're doing is kind of legitimate with legitimate businesses. So how, we talk about how do we um, verify between people, businesses, and agreements. So if I'm doing business with company X and they send me a contract, I want to make sure that that contract is what's been sent to me. So it's not been changed or doctored in any way. They want to make sure that that I am Rob and I am who I say I am and I want to make sure that they are the company that I think they are. And that creates this circle of trust. So how do we ensure that the business is verified, the actual agreement they're sending me is, is true and it's not been changed in any way, that I am me and I can sign that and we can create this agreement of trust together. And I think that that's what's really important. How do we create that verified ecosystem of trust? Uh, the number of the target. So. Yeah. When we look at Privy in Australia and what growth looks like, we've got to think about what's the bigger picture. So right now in Australia, um, there's 25 to 30 million people um, and we're an economy that's growing. So for us, we want to have a substantial impact and a positive impact on most of adult Australia. So when we look at our targets and what good looks like for us, We, we want to make sure that everyone in Australia has a secure way of being able to manage their identity online in the digital world. So in an ideal world, if there's only one provider, then we want all 25 million people. But if there's multiple providers, then that's also okay, but we want to make sure that everyone has a digital identity. And that, that's what success looks like for us. So I think what's interesting about Privy is we come from a digital identity perspective. So if we think about how electronic signature is done in Indonesia today, It's verified digital signature. That means that you know that when I sign something, it is me, Rob, who is signing that. Now in Australia, that doesn't exist. So someone, think about some of the highlights of Privy is that what we've already built from a security standpoint and compliance standpoint is ahead of what's happening in Australia. So when we bring that to Australia, we're really managing to uplift organizations' security postures, um, decrease their liability, and allow them to transact in that digital world much easier and more securely. Yeah, so how long will it take? So, so the challenge we have is that the digital identity landscape at the moment is, I'd use the word fluid, and it's changing. Because the new legislation is only just coming in, we're in a process which is very much led by the government around what our product exactly needs to look like, how do we become accredited, and so on. So from a digital ID perspective, That's going to be a slower moving beast as we kind of start working alongside government to try and build out how Privy can play in that world. When we look at the electronic signature side of things, it's a much faster piece. So we can, because the Privy solution is above what the current legislation is, 
but we can transact straight away. So we're seeing some organizations come on and then within a matter of hours start realizing benefit and value from a, a better solution, a more secure solution, a faster solution and so on. So from an onboarding perspective, it can be immediate. Um, but if you look at the kind of bigger picture of Privy's value and what we can offer, it's going to be a longer period of time. Yeah, I th the, the, the Indonesian landscape is a really interesting one. When I look at, and I, I don't want to get political too much on this, but um, there's 290, 290 million people, is that right? There's a lot of people in Indonesia, and I think a lot of the world is looking at, at Indonesia as an opportunity for them. And where Indonesia really needs to excel is, how do we use what we have to excel as an opportunity for ourselves? Um, so getting those products and services out of Indonesia into the rest of the world is going to be a really key piece. You don't want Indonesia to become this kind of place where everyone else does well. You want Indonesia to thrive. And like it, it's got a special place in my heart before I worked for Privy. I'd probably been to Indonesia 20 times. Um, not all Bali as well, <laughs> mainly Bali, but not all. Um, so look, I'm a huge fan of Indonesian culture. Uh, it's such a beautiful place. And I just think there's a great opportunity for Indonesia to do better and actually start influencing the rest of the world. And instead of being viewed as something as an opportunity for everyone else, but for them to thrive. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it's, you know what, not, not just the Indonesian government, but also the Australian government. Um, I felt a real pull, if that makes sense. So I felt probably a push and a pull. I've, I really felt the Indonesian government has really helped to um, give us confidence that we can go and do this, um, help kind of guide us on some of those like more complex matters. Uh, and then the Australian government have also created a soft landing for us to come in. And some of the programs that are in place have really made it possible for this to happen. And I don't think that Privy would be in Australia if it wasn't for the Indonesian government and, and what they've done for us so far. So um, I'm extremely grateful for it. I think that we've got a great opportunity to create a, uh, a template for other businesses from Indonesia to come and, and we can show that it, we can be successful here. Uh, and hopefully we are the first of many to come do it. So, so I'd encourage anyone to um, get involved and work with Export Export Indonesia. It will really help you to kind of understand what's happening, understand how best to make the most of this and, and really propel your business forward. Salam Export. Okay. Itu dia tadi hasil kunjungan kita ke kantor perwakilan Privy di Australia. Kita sudah bincang-bincang dengan Rob selaku uh, country manager dari Privy Australia. Silakan nikmati. Uh, sampai jumpa lagi di konten-konten ekspor-ekspor Indonesia selanjutnya. Salam ekspor.